I mean, I typed out the super long response. I realized I needed more characters. Let me answer your question. Decision making, Tua, A minus, Herbert, uh, C plus. Arm talent, Justin Herbert, A plus, Tua, C plus. Athleticism, Tua, C minus. Justin Herbert, B. But this is what I mean by quarterback beauty pageant. Yeah, Justin Herbert will win off measurables, but keep in mind, Justin Herbert would crush Drew Brees, crush Peyton Manning, crush Tom Brady, and all of those measurables. So what makes a great quarterback to me is it measurables. Yeah, beauty pageant, Justin Herbert will win all day, every day. But there's something to be said about the fact that decision-making means more. Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, they are very selfish with the football. Justin Herbert single-handedly lost the game against your Seahawks by those two first quarter turnovers. He leads the league in pick sixes right up there with Matthew Stafford in the last 20 games. Those interceptions mean more than we give credit for. You know, this is my problem with ESPN. They force these female talking heads upon us and just expect us to accept all of their opinions with open arms. Then when called out for their idiocy, we are reminded we can't do that because they're women. Huh? Emmanuel Acho, a former NFL player, you know, someone who actually wore a helmet and shoulder pads, posted a video where he compared Tua Tungabailoa to Justin Herbert in this point in their careers. And Mina Kimes wasn't having it. Acho said point blank that Tua Tungabailoa is better than Justin Herbert. Now you can be a Justin Herbert fan, or you can be a Tua Tunga by Loa hater. Either way, you can't dispute facts. And the facts bear out that what Emmanuel Acho said is 100% true. And as I always say, numbers don't lie. Here's what Emmanuel Acho said. Tua has 17 wins and nine losses in his career. Justin Herbert, 19 wins and 20 losses. He's a losing quarterback. Tua has two less wins than Justin Herbert in 13 less games. Tua has a six passing touchdown game. Justin Herbert, he ain't never done that. Tua has a 400 yard game. Justin Herbert, he ain't never thrown for 400 yards. Justin Herbert has more games with a pick six than he has games with four passing touchdowns. Tua is four and no versus Bill Belichick. No quarterback has started their career four and win when no losses versus Belichick. Besides John Elway, Justin Herbert, 0-2 versus Bill Belichick, the greatest defensive mind in football. C2 is a winner, 65% winning percentage. Justin Herbert, 48% winning percentage. Y'all stop talking to me, man. Give me Tua. Everything he said is 100% true. Tua is a winner, period. And that's really the only stat that matters. There's not a single Tua hater out there that can dispute those facts. None. None of them can be disputed. But nah, 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 nah. Facts aren't important to ESPN female diversity hires. Instead, they just create their own stats and misinformation campaigns. In response to what Manuel Acho had to say, Mina Kimes basically just simply made up her own stat to attack Tua Tagovailoa. She actually tweeted this. Emmanuel, I just watched Tua throw like four passes to Steelers defenders with my own eyes. On her own, Singularly, she created a dust-up on Twitter where people were talking about almost interceptions. People were actually debating Tua's ability based upon almost interceptions. But the sad thing is, Mina Kimes may have a brain injury. You see, she can't seem to remember any almost interceptions prior to the Miami Dolphins beating the Pittsburgh Steelers. Quite a few people tried to spur her memory when they were talking about Josh Allen and his performance when he lost to the Miami Dolphins, but she didn't respond to any of those tweets. In that game, Josh Allen had five or six almost interceptions, but Mina Kimes couldn't seem to remember that. We need to pray for her acute memory loss. But one guy seemed to hit the nail on the head with this tweet. Chris Melly tweeted, My answer is many of the talking heads in the sports media, especially ESPN, hate the Dolphins and make Tua the target of their constant vitriol each week. Why? My guess is the NFL doesn't like Stephen Ross, the owner of the Miami Dolphins, and the Finns have the only undefeated team in NFL history, not the Cowboys. I'm not sure if that's what it is. Could be. Doesn't make any sense, but it's obvious at this point that ESPN and most of the sports journals out there have a disdain for the Miami Dolphins, Tua Tungabailoa, and yeah, probably Stephen Ross. I bet maybe it's got something to do with Brian Flowers, but get over it. 
But there is one singular remedy to shut all these people up. Win. Just get out there on the field, kick some butt, and keep winning. When the Dolphins were 3-0, and oh my God, they were all freaking out. They lost three games in a row. Tua should never come back, never play again. But now he's back. The Dolphins are back running the way they should be. He was a little rusty in that last game. But I'm expecting some big things tomorrow. So if you'd like to join me on my watch party, go ahead and click the link over here. Get notified when I go live. Talk to you soon. Fins up. Is anybody catching on to this Barry guy?